Hi there, Mark here again with another tutorial for Yuhi Zebra Synth. Today, kind of following up on what we done yesterday, um, I'm going to do a clap. Show you how to make a decent clap or a clap template. Somewhere where you can start off and it doesn't take too much to change it for any type of music that you happen to be making at the time. Now, before we go on, as usual, don't forget to go to the YouTube page. That's it showing right there. And subscribe so you don't miss any of these videos. Okay, as you can see, I'm starting with a blank zebra. Basically, it's just the initialized patch with the oscillator removed. And today, we're going to be using a couple of noise sound generators, probably an MSEG, probably a shaper, and a filter and some effects. So, we'll just start off with a noise generator or oscillator depending on who you speak to. We'll put in the crackles sound and we'll put it on a stereo. Now I'll just play I'm just gonna play I've got a I've got a sound that kinda goes where a clap would go. I'm just gonna play and adapt the sound. Now we're gonna control the filter later on with an MSEG so we'll just pop that in there at the moment. And I'll probably bring the flower down quite a bit because I don't really want that much the noise coming through. I want it to be. I want it to be there for sure. But it's almost like, well, I guess crackles. Not so much like vinyl crackles, but it sounds to me like uh, on a radio, something like that. So we've we'll, we'll leave it kind of round about there, I guess. Well, let's just listen to it first. Yeah, I suppose so. And we'll just immediately change the envelope as well because remember, the envelope, this is the amplitude envelope. Uh, we don't really want any attack nor sustain. And just a little bit of decay really to make it nice and punchy and a release. Out here, but we'll open it up a bit. How about there, I'll do it. Okay. Now, as we're going to use a multi-stage envelope generator, just really an attack envelope. Very easy. All we'll do is lift this up, bring this one over, bring it out a little bit, and shape this to be something like that. And we'll make that kind of the... Oh, yeah the end point I suppose and we'll make that the start point or the loop start and then this is when you'll start to hear well you'll hear why we're doing this to give it a click Thought that was a bit low. low. Just changing my loop points around, really. There's not really that much release in the release section anyway, but it's always good to have a little bit. And we'll change this to uh, notes, probably. I knew there was something wrong. The things you forget. Seconds might even be better. Slow that release section right down. That sounds okay there. For the time being anyway, you can always adapt this. You know what I'm like, I like to just get my template and then, depending on the sound, I adapt as I go. 
So that's just basically our initial kind of click and some of our kind of sheen, our noise aspect. But we've also created the click here as well on our envelope setup. Yes, it is. Now you could add some velocity to that envelope if you wanted to, but it's the amplitude envelope, so I'm not going to bother. Um, now, you can always turn the noise one off when you do the next section, or you can keep it on. It's up to you. Now, again, stereo. Bring the filter down quite a bit. And we're probably going to modulate this with another envelope. Um, yeah, we'll mess around with that in a minute. Width, generally, let's have a listen. That's too much. That seems to be okay. And the envelope here, mm, let's just turn it up kind of there at the moment. And we'll sort out the settings, really. Decay. Again, we're looking for it's a clap. Remember, it's a percussive sound, so we want it to be punchy. Too much. And you could, if you wanted to, have velocity affecting that. You pop it up a little bit. If you want. I can't really test that at the moment because I don't have a keyboard in front of me. But you could have velocity controlling it if you wanted to. It sounded not too bad. Okay, so we've got quite a nice basis of the sound there. And now, it's this sound, once you've kind of got the attack portion with that white noise sound of a clap, it's kind of almost like reverb, really, I suppose, but it's not. This is, it's when you add effects and a further filter that we start to really get the sound. So I'm going to actually add a shaper in this section and we're going to use the wedge distortion. And we'll use this to kind of really bring the sound out. Let's try and get rid of some of that excess kind of white noise aspect. Yeah, not bad. Uh, add a filter in there, kind of try and tidy it up a little bit. Just leave it on the excite. Okay, you could kind of leave it like that. Now, there's a couple of things you could do here. You could use another envelope to modulate the cutoff, say envelope 3.
I don't like it. So it's up to you. You could add an envelope on there. Again, I keep forgetting this is just kind of a template. So we won't do that at the moment. You could add, again, modulation wheels and stuff's in here to regulate, uh, to modulate things like resonance and cutoff if you wanted to. I would probably, well, not in this one because it's a template, but I would probably use something like that if I wanted to. You, wouldn't, you know what? I probably wouldn't with it being a clap. I would maybe, mo I could, I would maybe modulate the cutoff with an LFO set and a really long set for a human eyes type feel. But at the moment. No, I don't think so. Okay, I'm just going to add effects. Let's add some chorus, and uh, not a lot of chorus. That's strange. I forgot to turn that, I brought that down because of the envelope there. That's too much. That's not really doing any good. But the chorus, just leave it on with a wee bit. It can help the sound somewhat. Uh, a couple of EQs. This is a probably the first time I've showed you me using two EQs. So the first one, I'm just going to use that to kind of get rid of some of the low end and boost the the low mids and the highs. That'll do. And then on this one, again, just to really tidy up, really. Just bypass that to see how, how the effects are affecting it. Much better sounds, much more like a clap now. And if you're really brave, you could add a reverb on, but you've got to be really subtle with the reverb. There we go, I think that's doing not bad. Now, that's pretty much it. You could use the matrix to modulate stuff on the EQ, for instance. If you really wanted to, you could kind of move some of the EQs out. Again, this is all kind of humanised feeling, but I think that's quite good. You could tighten it up if it if it's a bit seems a bit loose to you. And the old trick, you could layer it with a snare. So, there you go, there's a clap. 
preset for you. A clap template for you. Use it. Again, it's up to you if you want to use it in the synth. The synth, so the synth can give it that human feel. If you want it to be really rigid and unmoving, sample it. Stick it in your sampler and do whatever you like with it. Okay, thanks for watching. Don't forget to go to zebratutorials.com and subscribe if you haven't already for those other subscriber videos. Don't want you missing those. Okay, thanks for watching. I shall see you in the next video. Bye-bye.